That is the Rithymno Fort there, built by the Venetians in the 1500s. Hey there, how's it going? So this is the uh, town of Rithymno out here. A uh, nice, very touristy town on the north uh, coast of Crete here in mid-October. So uh, the weather is getting a bit more mild, but it is still pretty nice and warm. I'm going to uh, get up here and then walk that away and walk around a, a pretty little uh, harbor and just give a little sort of unedited uh, taste of this Greek town on the... Well, I'm not actually sure if it's the Aegean or the Mediterranean here because it is definitely the Mediterranean from the uh, south coast of Crete and then going north from here, it goes up into the Aegean. So anyways, kind of on the uh, border between the Aegean and the Mediterranean seas. The Aegean is really just kind of a section of the Mediterranean, but anyways, all the other uh, Greek islands, or many of them, are up that way. Crete is, you know, the uh, kind of almost furthest south part of Greece. And so Santorini is out there, and Mykonos, and Rhodes. And right around this corner, it will change scene a lot and uh, get nicer. And so I arrived just today, just a couple of hours ago, and I wasn't even planning on staying here. I uh, came from Matala on the south coast of Crete. I was there this morning and took a bus from there north up to Iraklio, which is east of here, and then was heading for Hania and took a bus from Iraklio to Rethymno here and decided to stop and have lunch and then was like, yeah, this is pretty nice. I think I'll uh, stop and uh, get a place here. And so I found a place on booking.com because I hadn't actually booked my uh, accommodation for today, luckily. And so I booked it and 20 minutes later, walked over to the uh, place and checked in. So I have a uh, room that is other side of the bay, like straight over there somewhere. So a uh, pretty little harbor here. <laughs> And this is like where you get to the kind of ultimate uh, restaurant. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tourist uh, restaurant scene. Lots of uh, nice restaurants to choose from, and the prices are not bad. And the food is good. I ate at a, a different restaurant, or like a different area, um, way over other side near the uh, bus station for lunch. And I got like this uh, stuffed cabbage um, rolls with like rice and meat inside and a uh, plate of uh, beets, just like raw beets and bread and a beer and it was 13 euros, so about $15 for a very delicious and filling lunch there. And so here you can see squids, calamari, 940 euros, octopus, 13, shrimps, a little more expensive, 18 euros, Feta cheese, seven euros. Soups, six, eleven, seven fifty, eight eighty for a uh, salad. Smoked salmon for twelve euros. Not bad for like being smack in the middle of, you know, Greek tourist uh, central. Smoked salmon. Oh, that's an appetizer. But uh, twelve euros. I mean, lots of places it would be like sixteen, seventeen euros even just for a uh, appetizer of salmon at the like harbor, you know, viewing points in a touristy restaurant. Saganaki cheese are definitely more expensive than, you know, other parts of Greece, for sure. Less touristy, uh, more local places, but still. It'd be a lot more expensive in, you know, Western Europe. Cruises and boat trips to Santorini. So you can just go like for a, a boat 
day trip, I guess. And to Eos, Naxos, Mykonos. There is so much to explore in this uh, area on Crete. I've just, you know, scratched the surface. I've only been here for five or six days. And just saw Iraklio, stayed there a few days, and then down to Matala, and then here, and then Hania tomorrow. And so there's, you know, hiking the Samaria Gorge and the island of Elephanisi and all kinds of beaches and hiking and villages. And so here, you get back into the maze of the old town and it gets really cool because I walked through here from the bus station. And so I'll just keep cruising a little more here. Kalimnos. I think that's a uh, Greek island, but I haven't been to it and don't know anything about it, but I guess they have sponges there. So many hmm, cool shops in here. Mmm, and some really nice smelling incense just walked past. And this place is really cool. I actually walked uh, down the same lane uh, before. I guess it's a pub. Yeah, local craft beer. Oh, wow. Dang. So cool how it's tucked down that alley. And about time we saw a church. Said no photography. So.
and it just keeps going and going. And time for a little graffiti in this one. Not too much at least compared to, you know, other places in uh, Greece. All right, that's it for this video. Tomorrow I'm heading for Hanya. I will take the uh, bus there. It will be just a like 45 minute uh, bus ride or something like that. And then I will stay there for a couple of days. And then after that, I'm not sure, but I'm planning to uh, leave from there and uh, meow, and go uh, either by ferry to Athens or else uh, take a uh, flight from there to a new country. Either way, I'm going to a new country very soon. There's probably somebody inside there like tired of listening to me. But I still haven't decided yet. Like I could book a flight tonight or tomorrow. I'm just like kind of procrastinating, um, deciding where to uh, go next. But uh, new country soon after two months of exploring Greece. So take it easy and more coming from Greece, a little bit more and then somewhere new finally. All right, see ya. Thank you.